Hello, my soccer universe. What a crazy and amazing AFCON day was that yesterday. There you say, you know, slow pace, boring games, not much risk taking, um, except for great jerseys. It was not so far an AFCON to really watch, although there were a few uh, nice games. However, yesterday really, uh, I was the best so far. It started with um, the big clash, the Nigeria Cameroon matchup. Kind of the two disappointments a little bit, but two pre tournament favorites also. I mean, not top favorites, but you know, in the next year, I actually had picked Nigeria. I'm a little bit uh, iffy with that pick, to be honest. But yeah, uh, that was a game to watch. And um, even the stands, they had there Samuel Eto and Wanko Kanu sitting so that was also interesting having them next to it to each other i mean nigeria is nigeria and cameron they're pro two of my favorite teams at in burkina faso which is also in that area uh, i mean i like i like african teams but i think uh, cameron nigeria are really uh pretty top on my list so it was a little bit hard to see those play against each other at that early stage um jersey matchup was off for me, because I think Cameron should have played in the dark green ones. Uh, the I know Nigeria played in green, but it's such a bright green that when you look at it on screen, it's rather all white. Whereas uh, Cameron in the yellow, this was kind of a very bright matchup. I mean, thankfully they had the red pants. I think Cameron could have played in the first team jerseys here. Uh, it would have been, I would have made for a really great uh, matchup. I think this one didn't like it that much. Anyway. The game was good from the get-go with lots of speed and you know I thought maybe yeah they play in Alexandria it's maybe not that hot but I think it was also that there was really something to play for here and those are two super talented sides within Africa. Uh, and both teams have chances with Nigeria actually being a little bit more the dangerous one although the first big chance was a header. Uh, after a corner for uh, Cameroon. Speaking of corners, I mean, there was the first corner was within a minute and then the second corner on the other end on the second. I mean, it was really going up and down, very even match, really fun to watch. Um, the first goal came in the 19th when uh, it was a, a free kick uh, from Musa on the side who gets blocked and puts it uh, in. Ball is played quickly to Igala, who is very free in the box, takes a shot, it takes a deflection. Uh, a rather unlucky and then uh, Onana cannot save anything and it is 1-0 for Nigeria and the game remains level with chances on you know opportunities on both sides I shouldn't say chances uh, and then uh, Cameroon who had a little bit trouble getting uh, in this final uh, push making this final push has a really nice com combination where the ball is played from Chupa Moting to uh, Basagok who makes a nice cross to Baho Ken who puts it in the net in the 41st and three minutes later another a, a white ball from the on, on defense uh, Baho Ken with a header plays it into the path of Njie who um, kind of uh, wins the duel with, with the defender and has clear and goal makes it 2-1 Cameron just in front of the half. Maybe, you know, it was a draw would have been a deserved result, but you know, it was great to see three goals. Uh, second half, early on, uh, Cameron could have made it actually 3 1. Um, I think it was Omeru uh, who deflected uh, a ball onto the net, and it was a great reflex by Akpei. Uh, to keep it the score only 2-1 and then Nigeria was coming uh, Igalo um, you know after F the cross uh, very quick uh, it's headed towards uh, Igalo who is onside and makes it 2-2 um, and at that point Cameron was a little bit then uh, shaken um, because I, after a bad back pass, the ball comes again to Igalo, who plays a wonderful through ball through Iwobi, who gets in a 66. So again, only three minutes later, the second goal, uh, his first goal and the third goal for Nigeria, make it 3-2. Thereafter, Nigeria actually had more chances to make it 4-2. There was uh, one where Igalo didn't see that he, the near post, <laughs> the goal was uh, wide open. He played it more or less directly towards Onana. Um, and then Onana made a great save in the 82nd. There was not much coming from Cameroon anymore. Um, they tried, but hey, Nigeria moves on. It was a great game.
and I thought, yeah, this really made my evening and there would be not much uh, the second game I wanted to watch. But Egypt, South Africa, from the beginning, I thought, yeah, this is going to be safely for Egypt. But I want to see if Egypt can finally convince. Well, what a match it was. I, whatever I said about the first one had maybe the more goals, but this one was an equally exciting game, especially since South Africa came to play and put Egypt under early trouble by playing a high pressing line and never really gave Egypt much room to breathe. Uh, and this was also a game that was open end to end, uh, especially in, in the beginning, it was really going up and down, but um, Egypt had trouble with South Africa. And South Africa had chances. There was a uh, free kick that was wonderfully saved by El Shanavi um, in the first half. Um, but also Egypt, uh, um, Trezeguet had a huge chance where he just rolled the ball towards the goalkeeper to, um, for Egypt. So yeah, I thought Egypt was the more routine team, but uh, South Africa really played for their lives. And it didn't change in the second half. Although the first chance there fell to um, Therese Gay again, where a wonderful pass, I mean, this was the pass of the tournament, by uh, Mohamed Salah, finds Therese Gay, who is open in the box, and I don't know, he takes, he one times it, but such a big shot, directly at the goalkeeper, if he can pull it anywhere, this is as clear 1-0 for Egypt. However, this was the game, this was a way how, how it was bound to go. South Africa really uh, had the better of at least of the chances, maybe even the better of the game. Egypt had real trouble. And you, you could see, I mean, the crowd was still in it, but you could see that uh, this is a real game South Africa came to play. And I was absolutely surprised how well those guys played. This was a pretty complete performance by guys that you actually don't know that much. And in the 85th minute, South Africa gets the goal. Uh, and it was a wonderful, I mean, at that point, Egypt was very uh, nervously going forward, trying to get the winner. And they're caught on the counter, which is beautifully played through uh, Percy Tao, who was, for me, the man of the match, uh, to Temin Kosi Lorch. And clear on the box and puts it into the net. And actually, Egypt had no answer. Uh, it could have been 2-0 if Feldweig um, would have made it, but his shot got blocked in stoppage time. Uh, I thought there will be, I mean, it was 4 minutes stoppage time, I thought there will be more given, but South Africa pulls the upset. And I still, it boggles my mind. I was all prepared to wear the jersey of the winner of uh, Nigeria Cameroon, but hey, if South Africa pulls one of the biggest shockers in AFCON history, I mean, the last few times that uh, the AFCON was played in Egypt, Egypt won the tournament. Egypt is the Germany of uh, African soccer. They, you don't beat them at home. Um, to me, this is an upset pretty much on the level of Iceland against England. Because South Africa, as great as they were in the 90s, since then they have been disappointing and not playing all the, all the great. This is an absolute shocker result. Uh, it's hard to put it in perspective. It's also, you know, I'm really happy that South Africa made this one. I really want them to get a deep run. I mean, you saw it in the previous video. Uh, but I know it will not be good for the tour tournament because uh, crowds have been a, a problem. You only had crowds when Egypt was playing. And I think except for the final, not even, even for the final, I would expect many uh, people. And speaking of North African advantage that I gave at the beginning of the tournament, <laughs> We have Morocco out, we have Egypt out. Egypt. Uh, two shockers. Let's see what Algeria will be doing today. I mean, today's games, that's maybe uh, from the names the least interesting day uh, of the AFCON. And I probably won't uh, watch uh, much because I will watch Women's World Cup final and the Copa America final. But maybe I'll get a little bit. Madagascar against the DRC is the early match again in Alexandria and Algeria plays then against Guinea. On Monday it will be a little bit more interesting, I hope. Anyway, uh, let me know what you thought about this. I mean, this was the AFCON at its best with a huge shocker and a great game. Uh, two great games, too, too, to be honest. 
So yeah, uh, drop a comment below what you thought about yesterday's games. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more AFCON updates and also Jersey updates. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.